Have you ever needed instructions but didn't want to read an entire book or watch a full-length video to get started? Infographics give just enough information with the right balance of images and text to help you get started. Welcome to day 21 of content repurposing tutorials where I'm sharing with you 30 days worth of time-saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an infographic so you can share information and instructions with your audience. We're right back here in one of my favorite programs, Canva. And what are we gonna put in the search bar? That's right, infographics. And now we are here in infographic, but one of the things that I want you to do is change that category and go right onto social media so we can make this a smaller size infographic. Once that gets loaded, you can scroll through and see which designs you like by all of the wonderful Canva designers and contributors. We thank you and see which one you like. So we're gonna start with something nice and simple like this one here, but take notice that this has the pro crown on it for the pro account. And if you didn't want that, you wanna get something like this that does not have a crown. That means it is free to continue to customize without needing any of the pro features. So let's go ahead and choose that one for that very reason. And we're gonna customize this template. Now, what you wanna do before you get to this phase is think of something that you want to create that has some steps or instructions that you wanna to give to people so that you can have the text and the graphics in mind. So let's think of something that I can say how to post on Instagram, right? So number one, I'm going to say, so we're gonna go idea. And what I'm gonna do is go over to elements and I'm gonna search for idea and look for a graphic that matches that. Boom. Also bear in mind that this has a pro version, so we're gonna look at all of them and see if we have any light bulbs. There we go, some light bulbs that does not have that pro version feature or icon, and I'm going to change the color of this. The reason why we use graphics is because a lot of times you can also change the color of it. We have this light bulb here, but we can't really see it, so we need to change the background of this uh, icon. So we'll change it to black and just see if that matches, we can shrink that down. That'll work just fine, but we also need to change the color of this here. Great, now we have photo. We can go right back on over to elements and type in photo. All right, I like to switch it up sometimes. Let's look at my brand colors as well. So I know black is included, so maybe we'll make this color uh, green. Let's just go with those blue and blacks change the color of this here to white so that we can read it nicely okay then you go ahead and continue adding more graphics to it I'm going to show you another design that I started a little bit earlier but you pretty much get the idea that you can give the instruction put a graphic on there give us a nice balance so here's a graphic that I created a little bit earlier on how to create an infographic so let's see what we did here I started with a template that was already in the Canva library and I just adjusted it to my custom needs so I have how to create an infographic for social media and we have step one is visit Canva then I have the Canva graphic for people to recognize it search for infographic here's a search bar to also so recognize that choose a template so I have a, a, a screenshot of different templates here and customize the template as well as being able to download and further go from there so as you can see I'm not using long sentences it's pretty much a couple of words not even a full sentence to be honest and then I also use screenshots so that's something that you can also use to your benefit especially if it's something from like a website to where you can grab that graphic and put it inside of that particular template. So what I can do from here, once I'm done customizing everything, go ahead and press the share button and download. I can share it as a PNG, download it, upload it to websites like Instagram and LinkedIn and Facebook and share that information on how people can use this as well. If you have a product or service or process that you like to share with your audience, an infographic is a great and simple way that you can share the information without overwhelming them. If you have been learning with me throughout this entire journey, I'd love for you to comment with how many episodes you have watched and I will see you tomorrow for day 22.